Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is October 1st and I brought back out Edward to swing and I have some love stuff available for our next topic. Before I begin, if you're new, welcome and to all my subscribers and viewers, happy, happy October. It is the thinning of the veil. It is the answers that we seek. It is the things that we want and you know what I want and you know what you want? Another unveiling of super cards. Now I get I got skeptical when my husband brought these because it's in Latin. And remember we had Latin Sat we had Latin Saturday. I love Latin. I'm very, very super into that. I'm going to tell you this one quote that my mentor always said to me, and this is what we are mavericks over at this channel. We want to learn stuff. We want to do an intelligent, educated, and fun way, and I want to start doing the unpackaging of my cards with you guys so we can um, discover them together. So before we start, I'm going to quick do them out. It's just one thing that my mentor tells me, and this is true for all you women that are watching. You know what we need? We need more women who are so strong they can be gentle. We need women who are so educated they can be humble about it. We need women who are so fierce they can be compassionate to everyone. So passionate they can also be rational and so disciplined they can be free. That is my whole mantra in life. I want to know stuff, but I don't want to be on some high horse blathering it out like, I went to Yale, I went to Yale, I went to Harvard. I, I, Ivy League people can't help but do that. It's like they just let everybody know 10 times, who cares? Who cares who's accredited? I care who's a human being and has a deep soul and heart. That's what I care about. So we are going to unveil these together and we're going to find out what's in them because Ian said they were juicy, but they weren't on the Decameron level which is they're beautiful and, and artsy and lovely and I'm very into um, you know art of any type and Botticelli and the human form and you know I have no um, hang-ups about that but some of them were pretty graphic and the other ones look at these and the book with it I love this so much there's some buns in the water now these basically say Oh, I love it. El Tarachi Erotica, which is the erotic tarot. And I love when it's in several languages. And um, I'm so happy. I just got some stones in. Look at these stones. Wait a minute. Again, if I was on QVC, I would be fired because I suck at that. This is smoky quartz, and I love it. I've always been very attracted to this. But even more importantly, this is my birthstone, and this is called the luck and money stone. It's citrine. And I carry this in my car. I carry it on my person all the time. It is the luck stone. And merchants keep it in their... Um, registers or their places of business for centuries because um, it is its properties are very light and attract money so look at this so I'm so excited so I have a rose this was for I still have these I got them on my anniversary and they're still in good form so I'm ex so excited look at these you guys look at this deck wow so we'll quickly, we're, I'm just going to do them. I'm going to be as surprised as you are. I'm going to do a pick a, pick a um, card formation, and then we'll see them as we see them. And if you want to stay through to the end and look at some of them, I'm going to just grid them all out so we can look at them. I'll just do like a pile of 10 at a time, and we can check out the art. So I love this for a topic. Um, just give me a sec. I'll let you guys know one sec. I had it phrased very simply and um, beautifully for you. Yeah, is passion coming my way? Now that is gonna be in all formats. Passion in the form of someone who just lights your fire. You know what I mean? You should be able to light yourself on fire with passion so people will come from like miles around just to watch it burn. You know what I mean? I do that sometimes if I really am um, excited about something and I'm speaking to people, I'll literally gather a crowd and people will be like, what, what, what is it, what is it? Like I have to watch myself at parties and stuff because I don't want to steal other people's thunder. But when I'm enthusiastic about something, forget it. I just go ablaze like stones and rocks and tarot and it's like I just love them because I do feel their energy. I mean anything that comes from deep in the earth of course it's going to generate and harness energies for sure and some of us feel it more than others and some of us it's subtle and we don't even know why we feel better when we put on an amethyst ring. Like I put on this ring this morning and this is actually going to be for my friend Kumari. It's her birthstone and she's been feeling a little low and look at these look at these gangsta nails I did myself. Okay. Okay, look at that gangsta, gangsta nails. Mm -mm, I got my bird on there. But yeah, it's like amethysts always collect, connect me to the soulful and to the, um, 
esoteric in my spirits always always it is it's the um guide the guidance stone the soul stone it's also the sobriety stone that people used to put in their glasses of wine like they were having sweet wine that was so delicious and they didn't want to over imbibe um, the Romans and other people would put it in their thing to remind them to take it easy and stay because the first thing to go when you drink of course is your judgment so if you go over that line you make insane choices right I once woke up on a surfboard at you know URI University of Rhode Island in a bathing suit that wasn't mine with some kind of bizarro stuffed animal that looked like kind of like a Teletubby but like it was missing its head so therefore I don't really imbibe so much anymore another time at Yale I woke up in Roger's dorm with his ferret asleep around my neck and uh, you know you wake up and you don't know what the F is exactly going on and I flinged the ferret across the room thank God he landed oh my god yeah um, Eduardo he landed that's where I probably named Ed Edward that like I have so many Edwards Eduardo he literally just landed on the bunk bed across the room but I could have launched that sucker to his death because I was so freaked out so yeah I don't like to lose my judgment my balance and who I am so I don't really partake in anything even though I, I'm hippie enough man I feel like I'm high every day and when they did tests on me when I would go in for um, my tests at Yale because they were like your 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 mind is very wild I don't know what's going on but it has crazy endorphin levels way more than most people and also serotonin and and dopamine so that's part of the reason I'm able to do what I'm doing and and not get down and lift other people and do energy work without being highly affected by it is because of my um, extreme levels of happy chemicals in my head I just got lucky I got lucky at birth I cannot wait to see these you guys I'm already losing my mind stoked out of my ever loving when I unleash new cards I swear to God it's like Christmas and Easter and friggin Halloween Tara Cat's gonna want to come say hi to Edward you can come say hi come on come say hi you can say hi. and then you gotta go I'll give you a, a thing because she likes to sit right by him she's fascinated but also she's scared of his glitter when his glitter settles she's all nosy Parker okay so we'll do citrine for group A and then we'll do um, look at that smoky quartz I just love that I'm gonna oh, I'll do a little store on my Etsy for you guys and your stones because I have a lot of healers that are beginning and um, blue calcite now this particular rock is amazing when you hold it it has a very relaxing settling um, element to it and it's got lots of facets and it's beautiful it almost looks like feels like a soapstone in a lot of ways yeah so number one citrine number two smoky quartz and number three blue calcite now again and this is is passion coming my way because what's happening right now is a lot of manifestation towards soul connections twin flames and past life karmic rewards in in the phase of love and especially October you know what I mean I'm not kidding when I say stuff is really manifesting okay so we're gonna go with number one I'll put that over here I get so excited before I touch new cards I literally start to shake Ooh. Look at that, the five of water. Oh my God. He's like, there's a, that's a shot of a naked, I like, I haven't looked at these before, so they might be a little like whack. So I'm just gonna look, a rhino. Oh, no big deal, I'm just swimming and you know, rhinos come, you look at your consecutive numbers, you guys, and I just shuffled the hell out of these. We got a five of six, look at that. And these are all, wow, these are all cups. So that's amazing. She's, what's like Marilyn Monroe times, times 10 there look at these are funny I just love these erotica cards they're very very cool now listen I'm gonna just look, take a quick peek at the book to see if they have anything different from what I um, normally feel we got our five and our six of our water soup yeah because what happens when passion comes our way we literally can get passion drunk and what happens with that is our um, our giver aspect gets greatly increased. Like we want to give our time, we want to give our energy, we want to give uh, base and also material gifts, all those things, because we get flooded with those endorphins and that, those love drugs uh, that are natural in our um, chemical makeup, and we can just start to lose our mind. So let's see of this, like in four or five in in the water. So you know. We have to be careful with four and five in this, and I'm going to be straight up. I like everything to be positive, but what happens in four or fives of the water is sometimes shyness and diffidence, fear of one's own feelings, um, can can make us 
reject something before it even happens. So I'm going to read this as a whole grid, but I'm telling you individually first what can happen and how you can change that. Because five can be the card of um, facing unpleasant events. Um, it can be of fear, but it can also be of reassurance. You know what I mean? It's that sort of fight or flight. And there's an intensity that's involved with that. Just like you see a rhino coming to you in the water and you're bare-assed, I think you want to get the hay out of there, right? You're like, woohoo! yeah but then we have the nine I think it's very interesting that it's all water in this is very very interesting because this is what's culminating from all that it is your well-being it's your um, repletion satisfaction and you're feeling a bit of an ex exp um, <laughs> like exhibitionist like there's something about you right now you feel very strong in your um, femininity or your maleness and you know that there's a logical meaning to it that you simply know and Jupiter's in Pisces we need to evolve by letting one's own inspiration go in a subtle way and lots of times just just the floating and being natural and being funny and you do feel like a bit of an exhibitionist you know what I mean you feel like oh a little cleavage might be in order or a little bit of fancy dancy leg work might be in order and it's funny because I am gonna say this if you want to keep it elegant always expose one area don't be super tight and all legs and all chest it's too much and it actually takes away from what you want focus on if you think you have beautiful legs wear a nice mini skirt but um, be a little more subtle up top so the um, viewpoints go to your legs. That's a little over the top. If you're like, look at my beaver, it's out for you. <laughs> That's so funny. I have never been in a public setting where somebody has ever flashed me or anything like that. Except for once when I was at the beach, this guy was like, can you help me up? And he just pulled down his pants. And I'm, I'm at the beach near rocks. Is he high? I pick up this big rock and I said, yeah, right after I launched it's at your head. I remember only being like 10 too and being the ballsiest little crazy girl. And I remember my family was across the streets and it was an isolated beach and I was like my family's right up there and you're gonna go to jail and all this stuff and going crazy so yeah in this in the other water things even though you might be feeling a little shy get out there because you do have passion awaiting for you it's slowly building but also we have to be careful because Venus is going in retrograde I think it's around October 9th so what that does to us is it makes us want to do things we normally wouldn't do that's why you feel a bit of an ex exhibitionist and that's not a bad thing I mean if you want to get out and flirt and flaunt your best parts like especially so I think women when they have um, I, I don't even care what kind of feet you have but I think there's a certain arch to heels that make feet look so elegant and the carriage of yourself so elegant and again be trusting let let you know that passion floats passion is buoyant and that um, you can trust it and that you know it's there for a reason you know what I mean it's there in your life for a reason because you deserve it and I'm gonna pull you an Oracle card too love this be without malice this I am doing a course right now and it's so funny because I was saying the only reason I'm able to power through some days where I have so much to do is because I take a step back I breathe in and I think before I respond to say any of my comments on my channel um, any of my emails any of my clients anything like that all my clients are so beautiful and they're they're always they come back within like a week or two for another read and we all reconnect and we're all we talk through emails and so I'm lucky in that but in your life in general let me give you an example you're in your car I was in my car this morning somebody had a fender bender in front of me and they got up and stopped up all traffic when they could have pulled to the side of the road but they were so caught in it and they were making everybody else become irate so I simply said if you guys pull right over there you can rectify the situation and not be in damage um, not be in jeopardy of being damaged yourselves because you're out in traffic you know what I mean and um, it just calmed everything so instead of just thinking of yourself First, put yourself in the other person's shoes. They might be in jeopardy. Something might be wrong. They might have just come from a chemotherapy session. We never, ever know. That's why we want to be without malice. Because when you are, this is what you get. Look, he's just going to sit there and look at you. He's not going to go all rhino crazy. And why she's calling a rhino, I swear to God, that's something I'd do. I'd be calling like dangerous wildlife all around me and be like, yeah, man, the sun's so nice and warm on my ass. Let's call some giraffes and rhinos into this scenario. <laughs> How about new? No? But yeah, so that's you guys. And that's really good. So you can expect to feel a little freer. And it's going to bring passion towards you because I'll tell you, nobody like the opposite sex, same sex, whatever is attracted. Um, Thank <laughs> you. 
works like a magnet and fire to other people when somebody is free and comfortable in themselves. So that is you if you are citrine fantastic. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new and all my links are down below for private reads if you want to um, expand on any of this because October is heavy, heavy law of attraction and bringing these things to yourself when you think of them and you focus on them. That is beautiful. Look at that. I love bodies underwater. Look at all these water. So far, everything has been water. And I'm going to bring each one of these up because they are so beautiful. Look at that. Three. Nice. I'm just... There we go. That looks almost like he's trying to drown her. I don't love the look at that, but I know what's going on there. That's so funny. Look at that. She's like, I'm a captain of my own ship and I got a cool coat to boot. I am a coat person. I go crazy for coats. Okay, so let me just see what's going on here. It's crazy how these are all water. If you guys ever hear me and you're new, you hear me clapping and rubbing in the background. I just create energy in between my hands and energy ball. It helps me receive messages a little clearer. Look at that, you guys. You're one, two, three. That's insane. One, two, three of water. Wow. I can't believe that. And it's so funny because I love how the book starts in um, Italian and um, Latin and like the last language in it is English. I'm just double checking that they don't have a, um, a special sort of quote because I love to learn the new quotes because with the one, two, three, which is amazing. Jeez, look at that. Yep, so that's the ace. I'm just going to put them in order because I'm weird like that and I have a very cool feeling about this. Yeah, you have passion coming your way in triplicate, but this is the wonderful thing about it. Because with Ace, it's high, high sensuality. I mean, falling in love. You guys are going to fall hard. And it's a never-ending stream of like um, just vitality from that because what happens is we our circuits start like hopping when we're in love right we get we get emotions we didn't know we could feel we get expansion on such a great level we are more loving and giving to those around us because we have that and emotion emotion give us a higher state of awareness when we're in love and we're feeling sexy you know what I mean and two this is crazy the two of this um, water suits is the ideal the romantic passion the present moment um, the need to uh, also there is a, a need to um, try to manipulate money with care when this comes in in this sequence like this you know what I mean so we have to be careful of egos this is this is sort of what it's showing with that he's trying to manipulate or like she's just trying to swim and he's like no let's go have some sex over here but look how domineering that phase is you know what I mean and then this hilarious following that you're like no this is a declaration of freedom number three it's free expression of personal feelings it's um the need to communicate in a careful and personal manner but also to state exactly what you want and what you mean you know what I mean you're not like yeah you are not you bust out of that phase two you let them have that little domineering moment moment but your aces look at that your captain your captain um england over there in your coat and you're ready to go y'all and here oh and here is your oracle card i love this love it love it love it seek your answers within now this card i had on the side of my bed pinned on my hope board for months as soon as i started to know i wanted to do this and have it be televised and to really get the word out there and start doing energy healing and coaching all these things i pinned that by my bed because it was like i knew i had to garner the knowledge I had that was from all over the place and really sequentially relearn it in a way that was teachable, positive, enlightening, spiritual. And I get very emotional about this too. If you guys ever get a chance, watch She Bear. She's such a beautiful soul. And when I watch her, I cry because I feel exactly how she feels, but I can't do such long videos because I really, when I delve into certain aspects, I begin to cry at just some of the beauty of things. You know what I mean? Because as you start to learn your own um, path, passion within you and how romance and all those things can be so lovely and it elevates you and expands you, you're going to be so giving and you're going to get more and more answers and you're going to vibrate higher and higher. And you're not going to believe how life just transforms. It's just like the Wizard of Oz when it goes into color. It's like that. You're like, holy shit, I've been living in black and white for all this time. No kidding. So that is you guys. Fantastic. 
Don't, if you're new, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me your comments because I really want to know what you guys think of these new cards. I get so psyched to unveil these new cards and I think they're lovely because they're very sensual without being like graphic or porno or anything like that. And some of our biggest um, hurdles and wonderful moments have to do with passion and love. Do they not? Like my, I... I am such a cheerleader for people trying to come through breakthroughs and love because of shyness and things like that. I love people and I and I help them and I love them and I always have people with anxiety, fear or um, self-doubt because once you break through that and you realize how easy it is to speak to people and garner good relationships, it's amazing. Oh my God, we're finally, we're finally into, we're out of um, water and we're into fire. So we're into wand territory. So what do we got here? Nice. Oh, that one's pretty graphic over there. Oh, well, it is what it is. I'm going to put NC-17. So let me see. We have right here. I'm not going to put the other one close to the camera. Look, she's stoked. She caught some stuff. King of fire. Yeah. I'll just cover that part. I'll be like, hey, hey. She's in it to win it. Yeah, right in the middle too. Queen of Fire. Queen of Wands is awesome because Queen of Wands is very passionate, but she also is about action. You know what I mean? Knight of Fire. These are all fire. Oh damn! And look at the they go, the order they go in. <gasps> you go Knight, Queen, King. Oh my God! This is a full house of passion. I can't even believe it. Here, you know what I'll do in case a kid walks in the room. We'll give her that. <laughs> we'll give her that crystal. Here, hide that. You don't need your butthole out there for the whole one. That looks even worse. Here, let me put a star over it. <laughs> I'm by no means a prude, but I swear to God, have you ever been watching TV and I, I have teenagers, they come in and they're like, what the hell is that? And because I just did the unveiling of the deck, I didn't know I was, some are graphic, some are not, but Queen of Fire. Yeah, you not only have passion coming in your life, you have it in every suit just coming in. You know what I mean? You're like, you can't fake passion. When you're just fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire and what you want to do, it just comes into fruition. And when you're moving in this mode, it's accelerating. It's more and more and more. And I was not kidding when I told you that October, when that veil gets thinner and thinner, and spirits and sprites and all those things, they love passion and love. That's actually their fuel. It's actually to, um, you just evolve. And it's almost like when you have a clear crystal and you hold it in, in front of a light in the prison start bouncing off and then you add more and more and more you're mirroring other people and they're mirroring you and you're happy and you're in love and you have all this passion coming in and it's actually contagious like laughter is contagious passion is absolutely you know what I mean because the the things you're passionate about it's not at random it's your calling it's your soul's purpose it's your inspiration you know what I mean? You're just lighting yourself on fire and everybody's going along for the ride. It's so, so amazing. And it's like, it it's also brings a wellspring of cre creativity. You know what I mean? It's like, if you, if you were then into something that you were deciding you wanted to start it, you're going to start it. I do have one, one stipulation for um, mid-October. Um, Venus goes into a retrograde. It makes people daredevils and it makes them, that's funny, this card came up. It makes people want to do things they normally wouldn't do or they'd give a second thought to, especially they just become a higher gambler. You know what I mean? They're like, I'm going to sit down with the big boys at the roulette table. Um, try to... Um, temper your temptations and think of it before that too because it's like you're on such a tear of fire and wands being action you're like more 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 and you're just going for it and you're winning and you can't believe how much you're winning and passion and money and all that so just remember there is a reality to be um, examined here and that we have to be realistic and um <clears throat> be aware of other people around us i love these cards so much so that is you guys and remember it's like just be uninhibited be free you know have intimacy have love and inspiration for everything for your work for your new people coming into your life because when this kind of passion sparks off this leads to long-term love and and soul connections it just is it's fire fire rarely blazes out when it's in such quick succession in the same suit so i'm going to pull you guys an oracle card too because I'm just so stoked about that. I hope you're not like a high school student. I'm going to do this um, NC18 because of the things. Oh, look at this. 
my that's my animal trust in magic that's you guys and you're doing it right now in the esoteric and listening to your soul your soul's direction i ravens and crows are my birds and whenever i feel misdirected or i'm a little lonely or sad because sometimes i need to isolate to really connect and think i'll find a crow in my backyard or i'll find it in a tree there and it'll be so loud until i say something like okay i'm good and then it stops i'm serious i get and think of birds from way back when they are message carriers what what bird is going to let you tie a little note to it and is going to fly to winterfell you know what i mean friggin ravens and crows they're crazy you know what i mean it is it, they're astonishing so believe in your own inner magic once you wake up with that thought of anything is possible and i can do this it is possible it becomes possible very easy you're talking to someone right now who used to always work um eight hour days Usually I wanted to be on my feet, so I'd be, I was in the food industry and baristas and cafes and I loved to talk and stuff. But because I was so nice and distracted and I really want to do a top shelf stuff and everything I do, I, I was distracted by the fact that I wasn't being valued monetarily and other things. And I was pretty much doing what I'm doing now um, for others, but not in a public forum like this. And you can suffer burnout. So trust in magic and your own value and the way to turn it into your dream because your dream is right there it is right there all you got to do is ask and be specific say spirit guides i would like this please show me that you hear me in the form of whatever i always say birds and i get some crazy quick responses ask and you shall receive it's amazing so that is you guys and that is fantastic i am so excited for you yay yeah i just feel like there's a whole um another level of success that everybody is going to achieve very very shortly it's right there i'm going to give edward a shake to like clear the air because i get the chills and i actually my throat feels my like my throat starts to burn when i feel things this strongly because um i just know and i get i get so excited for you guys i literally can't even so yeah that's you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're new welcome aboard and to everybody who's been around thank you on this awesome journey you guys the numbers are crazy and it's like i'm able to now make a living at this and i don't have to run all around and try to make ends meet all crazy because you know you guys are supporting me by ordering private things and donating and things like that i mean I'm not swimming in buckets, but I'm maintaining and I'm so happy to be able to do this because I did this and now you're doing this and you're going to get your little bit of magic and you're going to get your guidance for sure. So I love you guys and all my links are below if you need any magic private reads for October, but be quick about it because they will fill up because everybody wants, they want a book for the actual me to read live to them on Halloween too. That's going to be fun. I'm probably going to go on YouTube live and do readings for you guys live on Halloween. Let me know if you'd like that idea. Okay. I'll talk to you guys soon. Guys, I was going to show you the card, so I'm going to have this tacked on as a little caveat and um, just let you take a look at some of the cards if you wanted to. I'll have my husband put on. What do we got here? So yeah, those were the ones we just saw. I love those. That's so cute. Look at that one. Adorbies. I love stuff that looks like 1920s. That's beautiful. I'll just do a few so you can get a, um, a temperature of them because I had promised in the Sphinx. Look at these. So I'll be using these a lot in future. But it's so funny. I'm like, oh yeah, we'll look at them at the end and then I shut the camera off. But yeah, that's just a sort of, let me know too what you think of these compared to the others. Okay. Peace out.